Okay, here's my robot. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm using a uh, RC car base from Goodwill, five dollars. So if you need a good RC or a good uh, ro robotic base, you might as well use a old RC car from Goodwill. It's got two motors, one for the w front wheels, turning left and right, uh, and one for the forward and back. Uh, so what you need is just a two sets of motor controllers on, or, or one motor controller with uh, two output pins, uh, and you just tell the motor to go forward and backwards. The eyes here are ultrasonic eyes, and to tell you the truth, these aren't very good. Uh, these are the parallax ping ultrasonic sensors. Um, they work okay, and the code is pretty good, but um, they're just a little bit slow on the reaction time, and uh, they're not exactly the best for seeing anything that's right in front of the sensors. So I need to figure out a, a third eye to put in the middle of here. Um, I just have these mounted on a breadboard. Uh, oddly enough, you can't get, get breadboard from Radio Shack anymore, so you have to buy one of those online. Um, I have it epoxy glued to the base here, and I also have a set of lights here uh, from the original car that uh, turn on when the car is going forward or backwards. It's kind of fun. Um, the battery here is just uh, rubber banded to the base. It's just an RC battery, 9.6 volts. Um, I have it plugged into the motor controller, which has a 9.6 volt uh, uh, spot on it for the motors. And then I also have it plugged into using a universal uh, adapter. Have it plugged into the uh, the Arduino board uh, through a wire that I got at Radio Shack. So, and here, uh, just a standard Arduino board um, on the bottom there. I don't know if it's focused. Um, with a motor shield, motor controller on the top. Uh, and I also soldered a couple wires here, these guys here for the sensors. Um, because I, I don't have access to the Arduino board on the bottom, I just soldered the sensors up on top. Uh, and the motors are sitting right here. I have two motors, uh, motor one and motor two. Uh, so here we go, we'll turn it on. Now you'll see this is kind of a kind of fast. The the code uh, is set to go pretty much full speed ahead, um, and when it gets to a point where the left eye can see something close to it, uh, it'll turn and slow down the car and turn to the right. When the right eye sees something, it'll also slow down the car and turn to the right. And the the uh, amount that the robot slows down is dependent upon how close something is. So if something's really close, it's going to stop. Uh, if something's uh, far away, then it'll go faster towards it. But it'll still try to turn. Oh, and there's also a reverse, but it doesn't work when we get things in the way. And the thing about these controllers, or these eyes, and, and the motor controllers is they don't see anything that's fabric. So you'll notice it's looking right here, but it doesn't see fabric. And another problem with his motor shield is it's just using way too much power. So the heat here coming off the transistor is just way too hot. Um, it's just burning up the power motors and everything. So what I got now, let me unhook this. Now that that's off, I'm going to redo the motor controllers with instead of using the riser board, the motor shield, I'm going to be using these guys. Now the motor shield is about 1.6 amp at most, I think it's 0.6 amp, uh, just running by itself. Um, and these guys here have a maximum of 3 amp or 1 amp uh, uh, standard. So. This is a little Palalu 
uh, I don't even know how to say it, Palalu Quick 2V, 2, 2S 9V1 dual serial motor controller and I'll be hooking these guys up. So I got two of them just for the heck of it. Um, I could run two motors off one but if I have two then I might as well just try two out. Um, I don't know. We'll see.